Greetings, my fellow Yodarians. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 8 of Stellaris One Planet Challenge, playing the Libra 3.3 branch, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Let's go ahead and get another construction ship to be rolling out two habitats at once. Is there any way to get Enclave Species' as pops? Uh, yeah, actually there is. The racket can sell you pop. Or you can invade the territories of the Keepers of Knowledge and go to their zoo world and get pops that way too. There's a few weird ways to do it, but not a reliable way. So the, the Keepers of Knowledge, these Fallen Empire, uh, this, this Fallen Empire will have a, they tend to have a world that is like literally just a zoo of different species that they've abducted more or less. And if you invade that world, which tends to be shielded, it's full of random species that they've collected. Like some the sort spirits of- spirits have granted us new Like that wisdom. six shoe, shoe box zoo that Rick and Morty were stuck in. That's basically what the Fallen Empire does, if, if you recall that episode. Uh, so now we have the FTL inhibitors. Let's go with research complexes, absolutely. I don't think I have the Engos, or I keep calling Engos, uh, the exotic gases for that. But as soon as I get the exotic gas uh, extraction technology, we'll, we'll, we'll be on that. And what's going on with that tech? This is exotic gas refining, but I want exotic gas extraction. I don't know. Hopefully it gets offered soon. This is one of the most complex games you've ever seen. I've been playing for over 30 years. My hat off to you. I have like a thousand hours in um, in Stellaris, so that's why it's not so daunting to me. But it is, I do find it really difficult to explain a game this hard to people that want to learn. The spirits have granted like, us new wisdom. This is generally something that you all probably don't have to do, except for when you're trying to introduce a new board game to like a friend. So if you've, ever, if you've ever had like a friend over at your house and you have this, this complicated board game and you're like, all right, let me explain the rules and they, their eyes glass over. Like that's exactly what Stellaris does, understandably, because it is so ridiculous. Oh, there we go. It is so ridiculously complex. Um, so here we go. Exotic gas extraction, which is going to open up extracting these two gas nodes to allow me to have better research facilities. And then... We still need more uh, jobs here. I don't know. Maybe Ministry of Culture. That will keep three people working. Yeah, I'll do Ministry of Culture. I want to be a cultured. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. It is a... Oh, ten coins away from... Oh, man. If only I had a mic behind me. I already posture checked for free and something crunched back there. I keep forgetting that I'm um I'm trying to build habitat. So here we go. Second habitat ship. <gasps> it's working now! <laughs> it wasn't before. <laughs> oh, clown. Clowns in space. Maybe the dragon was in the way? I mean, that's a good theory, but I don't think that that's how the dragon works. I could be wrong. Cheers. In I Prophecy, yeah. Paradox games are complex, but they're a lot of fun when you get into them. Because there's a lot of replayability. That's, um, that's one of the most important factors that I have for games, is how replayable is the game like when I beat it once will I ever want to play it again to get more you know bang for your buck or whatever in paradox games you can play oh, dozens of times before you get bored there's always a different angle a different style a different challenge uh, you know whatever uh oh Mansurin just became lethargic which is funny because he was a scout for extra speed and now he's an unscout uh, I'm just gonna fire you. Bye-bye. And then I'm gonna merge the two fleets 
into one bigger fleet, the Droiden. So now we have two decently sized fleets. Not enough to be able to take on the Marauders, but um, something. But at the moment, I'm really only using my alloys and influence for habitats, so I'm not going to be trying to roll out more ships at the moment. I will, I think, what I will do is equal the two fleets out into equal sizes, though. So I'll add one more cruiser to the salvaged fleet, so they're both 44 size. Can the dragon make more dragons? Nope, it's just, uh, it's just fluttering around my home system, demanding me to feed him. In fact, he's... Okay, I would prefer if you did not hug my colony ship. I don't want to be in your butt. I definitely don't want to be in a dragon butt. This is not that kind of game. Get away from my... No. Be gone. I'm going to throw a Pokeball at you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go over to Venderum or whatever they're called. Ooh, mass convergence. Getting smarter. Playing fetch with a colony ship. Don't like it. <laughs> Want him to leave me alone. All right, so this habitat is about 73% done. This one is 16% done. You know what? Let me get yet another construction ship. We are just going to inhabit space as fast as I can. I have a lot of influence and I have a lot of alloys, so why not? Why not? The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Oh, Thorkel. I already have three rivals, so... Sorry, I can't rival you, even though I think you're a jerk. Research complexes just got done. Let's go for hyperdrives. That will allow us to jump around faster. And let's roll out a research complex as soon as I start getting the exotic gases, which will be in 11 months. Not bad. Here's the new construction ship for yet another habitat. Yeah, Dom, your fleet went, um, got merged because the Admiral that was leading it got, um, old and cranky. So Thorkwell just made peace with some coalition with them. Oh, God, because you got your butt kicked. Oh, man. Oh, boy, you don't exist anymore. Um. Oh, I am. I am rebels with them. So, hmm. Oh, they're still at war. I was thinking about maybe trying to make them a vassal to vassalize them because that would very much satisfy my militarists being the imperial hegemon over someone else. But I'll look for opportunities to do that to someone else. I do have a new tradition that I'll look at in just a second. And then this other war was the Devourers against the Trade Association. It looks like the Trade Association got the upper hand. These Devourers here are probably the weakest they've ever been. I'm still building a spy network against them to try to figure out actually what their uh, fleet strength is. But in a minute here, there's some war opportunities. I could go against the Devourers or I could against, go against Thorkul. I think both are really, really, really good targets because they're both... Um, they're both rivals of mine that I border with that just got significantly weakened by a someone else. So juicy, soft targets. Uh, so, new tradition. I will try to explain these as good as I can. Adaptability uh, would help to aid some of our housing and and uh, habitability. Adaptability makes you be able to live on the planet a little bit easier. Alternatively, we could go with diplomacy. Diplomacy would allow me to have more envoys and have those envoys be better at what they do and also form a, a federation, which you all voted that I get with Yonderim, which I, I turned them down accidentally. I, I let it time out, but whatever. Uh, mercantile. 
which is for trade and trade protection and collection range, which isn't important right now, but it will be a little bit more important as I get habitats and I start building up some real trade value. Unbreak my spine. You got it. Oh. Prosperity would be mining and economy. Again, I'm oversimplifying this. Um, subterfuge would be spying. Supremacy would be uh, military attacking. And unyielding would be military defending. Oh, and I missed domination. Um, domination would be for me to become overlord over someone else. Dominating them. Uh, which is important for militarists. So I really should have included that. So there we go. Wah. You can vote. And I'll give you two and a half minutes. Which is hard to read because it's on top of other text. Two and a half minutes. Bing. And then you can pick the next tradition. Huh. Um, I think it makes the most sense to go after the devourers here. And because you're voting on something else, I might unilaterally decide that. The reason I think it makes the most sense is there's a Leviathan here. There's some empty unclaimed space behind only one Marauder World, which is not the Marauder Homeworld, so it's going to be pretty easy to get to here once I have a slightly bigger fleet. And um, they are one, two, three, four hops away from me starting to grab their territory. Whereas Thorquil is... Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hops or something, right? I have a little weird outpost out here that it would allow me to start making claims down here. But obviously, this is the juicy juicy. So, uh, I'm just going to decide that. Normally, I leave things up to polling, but what I'm going to do here is go boopity boop. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have them keep... Their territory... Huh. Let's go after the black hole. That's 400. I don't necessarily want their planets. The reason is, I would love for, to be an overlord over them at some point. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, yeah. What I, what I would want to do is to create a buffer zone between Andari Trade Association and them so that I own this stuff south and then keep these guys up here and then turn them into a underling of mine because their governance is not that dissimilar to mine. It's just, I don't like them. They just need a new leader. One that looks like this guy. So, yeah. Hey! Let's declare war. The crusade of the righteous begins. The crusade begins. Uh, something I should probably figure out if I'm able to do is um is to figure out and it looks like you guys want domination. Got it. So let's adopt domination. So adopting it allows me to clear uh terrain blockers cheaper, which is Totally pointless for me to have. But it also grants me... Um, it also is going to allow me to have better governors and more influence. More uh, more effective buildings. More work for my workers and slaves. Uh, higher level leaders and a better um, edicts cap. And I am going to become hegemon over these guys. Uh, so something I probably want to do if I'm making claims on them is to start rolling out an army, which I haven't really done yet. So I'm going to get some hybrid, uh, Cyberx Warforms because they're like super soldiers, but it does cost a lot of alloys. So then let's get three Warforms and then I'll just click the army button a bunch. So these Warforms have 1400 health compared to a regular troop of 200. They don't have morale at all because they're just like death robots. And then their damage is um, 7 to 15 versus 1 to 3. So, yeah. They do take a while to make. Yes, I know that. Uh, but I don't suspect that I'll be invading Trigem or Ufram um, 
immediately. My fleets have other things to do, like blowing stuff up. So let's see, 85%, 7%, and 30%. So we're working on it. Elon Lacrosse, thanks for the gifted subs. Von Flavenhausen, thank you for the resub as well. And Thorvor as well. Man, I have not Heretic been keeping up with this. Engaged. So it looks to me like the Droiden fleet is faster than the Salvage fleet. So I'm going to have the Salvage fleet follow, or Droiden fleet follow around the Salvage fleet so they attack and fight together. Oh, did I claim an Elgate system without knowing it? I did. Yes. Yes. So for those that don't know, the Elgate system is really, really, really important later on. I'm not going to spoil anything, but yes. Devourers, prepare to lose something important. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. I had no idea. That is great. And yes, I will donate to the artists for more influence. So the Elgate system is a gate that leads to like a... Do you know Men in Black with the galaxies on Orion's belt? It leads to Orion's belt. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. More or less. Uh, new research, gas extraction wells. So I'll get those going in a second. And let's get... I don't need robotic workers because I'm spiritualist. Let's go for... I don't even know. It all looks bad to me. Uh, crystal infused plating is actually pretty good, and the it spirits will, have granted us it's new done. wisdom. Uh, Durasteel. Ooh, Star Fortress. Ooh, I don't know. Durasteel or Star Fortress. What research? Ship armor or bigger stations? I'm going to go with bigger stations only because it's at the top of the list. But you can vote whatever you want. And minute on the clock. Is Zaleb an Elgate? No, Zaleb is just a gate. Not an Elgate. You can kind of tell. I know it's tiny, but you can kind of tell because there's like six prongs on the gate. And the Zellgate has like, it has like a diamond shape inside or something. It looks different. Um, plus, if you mouse over it, this says Elgate, and this says Gateway. So activating a gateway, just gateways link to other gateways. So active all active gateways link to one another, like Stargate, having a dial home device. Uh, ooh, habitat complete. And situation log updated. Colonize. And then you, my shipbuilding friend, don't have enough alloys to do anything at the moment. Alright, you guys want bigger stations, so I get to keep my currently queued up Star Fortress. Yeah, those 5k alloys went our faith to a new world. really quickly. So there we go. Now I have grabbed an Elgate system. And yes, I just want to keep donating to them because I'm using up my influence complete. really, really fast. I have no idea why the, um, the artist enclave is like, give us more coin. We'll give you influence. But it, it really is working to my advantage. So yes, 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 yes. Absolutely, yes. Uh, I'm going to reset eligibility for the first habitat so that everybody is eligible that chats from here this point on until it gets built. Construction complete. Okay, so now we have the exotic gases from Toolman Mike and Jelen. 
and that means we can afford to or soon afford to upgrade our research labs because we have the exotic gases to upkeep the labs. So if you take a look, I'm getting two gases per month, one rare crystal per month. It's not much, but it's something. I'm also going to change over... Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, look at my poor economy. Oof. I will change one of my housing districts into a generator district to help with the uh, energy credit problem that I have right now. Oh, what the heck? My fleets somehow stopped following one another? I mean, they're fine. But the droidens are supposed to be following the salvaged. I guess I can have them split up as long as they don't have star bases. And these devourers only have a 400 fleet, and I have a 4,000 fleet, so I'm 10 times their size unless they're hiding something else. So I really did pick a really good time to attack them, if you're wondering. Is there a way to raffle off a Stolarski? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll be actually opening up a game giveaway the spirits have granted very soon. Us new wisdom. So we can add that to the game giveaway for me to raffle it off. To open up additional jobs, I am going to get Hollow Temple, which is like the upgraded version of a um, of my basic temples. So they'll employ twice as many people with a little bit better... Uh, mm -hmm. Is eligibility for subs only? Um, no. I'll go with no. Yeah, so if you have a key for me to raffle, just message me on Discord, and I'll I'll get a, a raffle going. I run a few raffles a year, and happy to do it. It's really cool that people like to donate games to others. All right, it costs, what, 1,500 alloys to be able to build a, uh, where, where'd my construction ship go? Where is it? Oh, here he is. So let's see if I can't just buy up some alloys real quick. Nah, I'm not going to be able to afford that. How many can I buy? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to bother. I think my best bet is to try to purchase minerals to turn that into alloys using my artifact. So that will be my new uh, my new strategy. The faithful have claimed a new world. All right, this is being named Coruscant. My first habitat. And industrial, trade, or leisure. I'll probably go industrial. Sweet. Don't worry, there'll be more. I'm going to litter the galaxy with my little habitats. Hmm. I'm going to have the Droid Armada fall back to the Dubious Abyss because the ships are more damaged. They're not really damaged, actually, but I'm going to have them get repaired anyway. Oh, my Ministry of Culture crumbled because I ran out of building slots. Rude. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I thought... Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. How did I have a named envoy? I, I straight up don't even know. I think they were my leader and then the leader became an envoy. If I was to guess. If you're wondering why it confuses me, normally the game doesn't allow you to name your envoys. So I think it had to have been a leader that then subsequently became an envoy. I don't even know. I, I'm not, I'm just, that's, that's my current speculation. Um, I can't go any further down here because I need a science ship. So I'm going to have uh, DS5K come down here to to 
survey this stuff, or at least to explore this stuff so that I can actually um, invade it. Chat decided that Habitats and Ringworld was okay, but I decided that uh, Ringworld is not okay. Maybe in the future when I can build my own Ringworlds from scratch, but for now, I'm just having. Um, yeah. I'm going to feel a lot better about that. So. Yarp. So the Jordan Armada is all repaired up. And I'm going to have them go up to Gemma. DS5K is coming down to whatever this is. I'm going to explore all these systems so that I can claim them and invade them. It also looks like a nice dead end, which is really, really easy to protect. So, as soon as I know what they are, I'm going to claim them. But I'll claim... Ooh, this is costing a lot of influence, but I'm going to claim... Yoink. Oh, God, that's expensive. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just spend it. There's very little else that I'm going to even spend my influence, so I might as well get as many territories as I can get. Hey, look who's joining me. It's the mascot. Hi, Echo. Evading heretics. Evading heretics? Wait, where? What? Oh. Yeah, okay, right. They, they have a station there. Uh, so to Jordan Fleet, can you turn around and we'll start grabbing this southern border stuff. And then my salvage fleet, which honestly should get a name. It shouldn't just be salvage fleet. So that's going to be the Mr. Elk fleet. Uh, Mr. Elk fleet is going to go to Gemma and make sure that they don't come into my territory. He, uh, he was missing because he got groomed. Oh, Highland Timber. You know how you were wondering if I could rename you or if I wanted to? You just died. And in lacrosse, you are now the new admiral. Died in the line of duty. Well, from old age. Sitting in that uh in that armchair general or armchair admiral position. Yeah, he has no fur. <laughs> we made him very naked. He smells really good right now though. Can I sniff you, dude? I know that's a little weird, but I'm going to sniff you. Yoink. It's a nice shampoo. That's all I'm going to say. Well, this war is going swimmingly. Uh, I almost have enough uh, alloys to... Okay, I have enough... Uh, ...gases to upgrade a research complex. Which is good, because then it hires people. My research station... Why are you research station? What on earth? Don't auto-generate that. That's dumb. Uh, you are a... Let's go with... Foundry. Much more sensible. Because there's literally not a single researcher be being employed here. And yet another habitat is complete, so it's going to be raffled off as soon as it is inhabited. So let's see, where is that? It is a one over my homeworld. I think I went a little overboard on the construction ships as I'm not really able to afford a ton of habitats. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to... Um, I'm a little impatient. Oh man, come on, come on. I just want to have now, not later. So I'm going to not use my artifact. Come on, just give it to me. Ah, there we go. We can get another hab going. Because this is the last hab of this solar system. 
and then it's fold up. Sure. And all, yeah, all you have to do is be um, active in the chat world. to uh, to be eligible for the the raffle. There, that's it. Just active in the last fifteen minutes or so. Very, very simple to do. I do have some spare scientists that aren't doing anything, so I'm going to have them assist research, even though it's not much of a point to do. This new world is going to be another industrial trade leisure world. Uh, so, totally the same as Coruscant. I pose what? Sorry? Marauder? What? I'm confused. Scientists, don't commit suicide. Turn, turn around, turn around. And a hydrate. Cheers. All right. Oh, it does connect. It connects to the Fallen Empire, though, which is a good dead end. These guys aren't doing anything to me. They're just letting me uh, conquer the heck out of them. This is hilarious. Heretic fleet detected. Oh, they're attacking me, though. Oh, who's attacking me? Wait, 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 what? Oh, the Devourer. Oh, come on now. The Devourers had a fleet that was like way the heck down south that I think went around like this to attack me. Okay, well, it's not a big enough fleet to dent anything, but I really did not expect them to go the detected. long way. That's just weird. Oh, there's two of them too, but still not big enough. Hollow Temples just got done. Let's go get... Uh... I don't have enough building slots for Gene Clinic, so I'm going to go with Edicts Fund to be able to fund more of my Edicts. Uh, taking a look at the current... Where is the Edicts? Current Edicts. I do have some overhead space for more Edicts. Um, Veneration of the Saints. I'm going to activate. And... I don't quite have enough in the Edicts Fund for another Edict. But the Veneration of the Saints will give my priests more output, which gives me more unity. Which gives me more traditions, which gives me more ascension perks, which gives me bigger, better planet. So, it's all interconnected. And now you'll have to, you have to redeem the Yoda if you want the Yoda. <laughs> So we're just um we're just gonna grab some of these southern these southern worlds here before turning our ire against their homeworld. I hope I can get there in time to defend. I didn't expect them to go the long way. Really didn't think that was gonna happen. And the Udarian Prime raffle's about to trigger. It's almost built. The one planet challenge needed a life season seeded or ocean paradise origin, in your opinion? That would make it easier. I picked what I picked because it was harder. So I don't disagree with you. I just went the harder route for the, the difficulty. have claimed a new world. One of our stations is beset by enemies. So, the faithful claimed a new world that is my new world here, named Zack Dyer. The Zack Dyer Habitat. I didn't mean to change my, uh, there we go. Check with the back. Uh, this too is probably going to be another in industry world. So, um, put it as, set it as a foundry. Try make them alloys. Uh, if I build, I would need to learn how to exploit a research. I would need to research living metal technology in order to, to make use of special resources. So building a habitat there Space isn't going martyred. to matter. Oh, and there goes a third hab. 
which will get raffled off soon. And let me get rid of this construction ship, because I can't afford very many. And the fourth hab is 21% done. Uh, I will roll out the colony ship early, because why not? We are spreading our faith to a new world. Our science ship is beset by enemies. Dumb science ship. Why'd you go to the core? That's one thing I hate about the science ships is they, like, just travel to the center where there's absolutely always some sort of station to blow themselves up like idiots. So Lovada's Lo, Lo Zadavada, or whatever, stopped um, guaranteeing the independence of the, the, the mech people, or mech bots. I don't have the current coin for more cur curator insights. I'd like to, but let's just, oh, there we go. Severely impoverished myself. Um, it doubled in price because I started colonizing other things and they charge you more the larger you are. So that's what that was about. I like how this this uh, solar system is called Goal. So there we go. The uh, the devourers have lost all of their southern uh, territories. I'm losing a tiny bit of mine, but I have a fleet incoming to stop that. So that trend of me losing in the south also is going to flip soon. Uh, their homeworld is guarded by a 2.2k starbase, so I'm not really eager throwing my only fleet up here. I'd rather crush them in the south and then probably status quo or even achieve my war goals at that point because um, them losing their fleets means that my war goals will be easier to achieve, I think. And let's look at make claims. I'd like to be able to claim... No, I can, you know, I'll, I'll just save my influence and wait another 10 years after I beat them to make additional claims. How do I like this new patch? This new patch is great. It makes, it gives you a reason to build up a lot of unity, which previous patches absolutely did not have. So it's a lot more dynamic in that. Um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily perfectly balanced, but it's pretty good. It's pretty dang good. So the Gornium Habitat is about to get raffled, which means active people in the chat, you have a chance to win it, if you're interested. My borders just closed with whom? I don't know who you are. But okay. And Star Fortress just got done. So let's go ahead and grab metallurgist output for more alloys from my metallurgists. Do you get a chance to win a raffle if you're more active? No, it's just every single person that is active in the chat has an equal chance. Plus it's rigged. I think it's the joke. Oh, and here we go. Richie Lee, congrats on your habitat, which is going to be a generator habitat. Because you happen to have a generator there. So, build the generator and designate this a generator station. So we only have one left in Yadarian Prime to get. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my next ones at Coruscant and Fingface because they're protected from the dragon. Uh, to get there, you'd have to go through the dragon, so that's a really smart, smart move to go. The have granted us new wisdom. My edicts fund just went up. Uh, let me get habitability, because these habitats have low habitability, so increasing my habitability is going to have people be happier on them. But um, with my edicts funds a little bit higher, let's go to my edicts. I have, what is that, 25 plus 8... So, or seven, rather. I have um, enough to add either fortify the border for two more star bases. The problem with that is I have to keep fortify the border on to keep those star bases paid for, which is kind of annoying. Fleet supremacy, which is my ships build faster and start more experienced and my diplomatic weight goes up from fleet power, but my upkeep goes up, so I pay more for it. That doesn't sound great. Map the stars is not particularly useful either, 
Hmm. And I don't have enough to drop veneration of the saints to pick up capacity subsidies for more energy credits. So there really isn't a good choice here that doesn't cost me something. I guess the one that makes the most sense. Now, I'm just going to hold off on that. None of them, none of them are really good for me at the moment. And possibly we either get more edicts funds going up or um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure the that out. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Hyperdrive 3 is done. Uh, Research Institute is probably not something I'm going to be able to take advantage of because I have a very limited amount of buildings that I can build on your Darian Prime. So probably quantum en energy states for more energy credits for my technicians because my energy credits is in the dumps right now. I'm a bit in free fall. I'm also a bit in free fall for food. I only have 0.1 surplus food or something like that. It's not good. So that's something I'm going to need to remedy as well. Uh, the Mr. Elf fleet is still headhunting for their stupid devourers that took over my systems. The Jordan Armada is sort of freed up to do whatever it wants. And I think I'm going to go to Ufrim anyway. So if I'm going to Ufrim, I have this army here that I'm going to install a general. This general's name is Fang Face. Good name for a general. And... They have the three war forms ready to go. Plus uh, six other troops. So a nice planet invading, uh, invading fleet or uh, army, whatever they are. Okay, here we are retaking some of our previously owned territories that they took from us. This one happens to have a star port on it, which means it's going to damage us a little bit. Um, they, for whatever reason, are sending their fleet to me, and their fleet is about a quarter of my size. I'm not sure why they're doing that. That sounds like suicide, but I am okay with them committing suicide. I'm totally okay with them just dying, killing over and dying if they wish. Looks like they know my fleet's bigger than their fleet because their fleet is leaving their capital to go elsewhere. They know they're going to get the butt kicked, which is funny. So Jordan Armada, let's head on into their capital and make a whole mess of their face. So we, we got the uh, scrap code Anchorage back. Oh, Thorquil is no longer a valid uh, rival. They are... This is outdated information, I'm guessing. Oh no, that's... Yeah, they're inferior to us. They're pathetic compared to us now. So we're gonna need a new rival. Um, I'm already rivals with Andari. I am obviously already rivals with these guys. Who's our new rival? Tizen? I guess. They're not big enough. They're also a vassal. Uh, Thorquil is... It says inferior, not pathetic. Why am I not... Why are they not a valid rival? Uh, let me harm my relations with them then. Let me just spit on their face so I can rival them again. There we go. Spit. Alright, so here comes their dumb fleet that wanted Heretic to throw their lives away. Engaged. So let's watch this in slow-mo and enjoy it for Heretic all fleet of their engaged. explosive messiness. So we're starting... Let's see. We have five cruisers, ten destroyers, and four corvettes against their one destroyer and fifteen corvettes. I want to see how this turns out. Um, They all die and nothing happens to me. That's how this turns out. <laughs> Eat my purple lasers! <laughs> They're gone. Yeah, nothing happened to me. Piss off, noob. Get good. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep. Me whooping their fleet, uh, they have conceded and surrendered to me. So, 
Look at my beautiful territory. Uh, here we are in all of its glory. We have gone deep into their territory here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this uh, anchorage here. I'm going to name it after you guys, but I have a lot of territories to name. So here we go. Here's a rapid fire naming. Nightbot elects himself god of all territory. I hate you, Nightbot, but fine. Whatever. All right, next up. Morty Crow. You'll be Gemma. The contentious Gemma. After that, DS5K. Not only are you a scientist, you are a solar system. After that, Marauder. Marauder, do you already have a solar system named after you? I'm just going to do it. And Marauder, I'm going to give you the Dubious Abyss. How's that sound? You're going to be the Elgate system. Very sexy. Night Knife. We also have got Planet B7. Planet B7 also needs a constructor ship because there's exotic gases. So Planet B7, you are gassy. We've also got Zleb, the other black hole. And then lastly, JMW. Okay, that's it, I think. That was a good war, a very good war. Um, if there's some duplicates, I'll re-raffle them if I, if I notice them. Because sometimes it's a little confusing when there's like two of the same and yeah, it gets a little confusing for me. I did lose one Corvette. I'm going to have everybody rally, rally back to Yoderm for uh, the upgraded latest designs for the hyperdrives. Zleb, you are a duplicate. Thank you for informing me. Dragon Mark 1. You are now the Zaleb. You are the celebrity. And Night Nave already has one. Dom, you lost one, so... Well, you lost a fleet name. Yeah, there, there's the other Zaleb. We have won this war. Uh... All right, so here's a, here's some food for thought. Do we... So Thorquil right now is getting annexed by Yonderim. I don't think I need to join that fight, honestly. I mean, they, I could, but I think by the time I get there, they're gone. We do. Pole Mat Bot connects to the Mechazor Forge. So what I'm trying to do right now, I guess I should just vocalize, is I'm trying to figure out who should be a good war target. Uh, one of the things I could do is try to vassalize someone. Oh, Nightbot's a duplicate as well. Dear Lord, Nightbot, why didn't you speak up? Where's, oh yeah, there's the other Nightbot. What a little cheater that guy is, right? Whatever it is. So right now, I am not um, superior enough to the Mechazor Forge for me to demand that they become my vassal. You have to be superior to them. I might be able to become superior to them if I, like, um, really rapidly ramp up my fleet size. But other valid targets might be Corinth up here. Well, let me just look at, like, who hates me, because I have a long list of them. So Thorkel hates me, but they're getting their butts kicked right now by my um, defensive partner. Technor, I just whooped. There is the Andari Trade Association. Um, it says that their fleet power is equivalent to mine. I don't know if that is true or not, but that would be a tough one because they're going to be coming in from the west and in the south, so it's going to be a two-front war. Maybe it's fine, maybe it's not. I don't know. There is also the authority of Awful Jor, which could be a possibility for me to grab some of the Tizen Empire's um, stuff back. And it looks like Lazavad is currently attacking them, so that could be a really tasty target because they're already at war with someone else. Uh, I don't even know who these spooks, these little spoojalaks are. That's what I'm going to call them. Um, but they're really far away, so I guess it doesn't matter. And then these guys that close their borders to me... 
uh, yeah, I don't care about them. I think they're, what these guys are is they're like, I don't even know what they came about. So, war targets. I'm going to have you all vote. Should I go to war with someone very soon? I'm going to have you vote on this, yes or no. And if yes, then I'll supply some additional uh, possible targets. Thank you for tuning in to Stellaris One Planet Challenge, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 1st. This series, I'm playing the codenamed Libra beta branch of Stellaris, which sort of redesigns the way Unity is worked into the game. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have links to Discord. Discord also has ways to sign up for notifications of upcoming streams and events that I put on. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you catch another episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.